Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jack from The Modern Coder and I'm back. And I'm also sitting in my kitchen, but that is just because New York real estate is brutal. Anyways, today we're back with another Git video and I'm gonna show you guys how to combine commits using squash. Squash is not a command, it's not git squash. It's actually one of many options available to you under Git's interactive rebasing system. So one of the more common uses for squash is to basically repackage commits that are related to each other, whether that be because they're related to a single bug fix or maybe they're all related to a feature and there's a smaller commit that doesn't need to really be on its own. So squash allows you to rewrite history basically in any way you choose. Okay, so let's jump into the actual commands. So let's say I have a graph that looks like this. So as you can see, I have a couple of commits on master and then I've split off to work on a bug fix. And I can use merge or rebase to get these, you know, kind of get my bug fix branch back onto my master, but I want to do some cleanup first. I have a couple commits on the bug fix branch that don't really need to be on their own. I'm just adding comments. I'd rather that squash them all together into one large commit and then push that. So let's start off by checking out our bug fix branch. So with my bug fix branch checked out, we'll start by running git rebase dash i for interactive mode head tilde three. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell Git that I want to act and operate upon the last three commits back from head. So if I run this and hit enter, Git will open up my default terminal text editor, which is most likely Vim. As you can see at the top, I have my three commits and then a bunch of comments here that kind of explain the different options that you have under interactive rebase. And we're just going to focus on squashing today. But as you can see, there's quite a few other things that you can do. So this is kind of the strange part, but what we're going to do is we're going to literally edit this file and tell Git what we want to do with these commits. So if you're in Vim, you're going to want to press I to enter insert mode. And I'm going to change these last two commit keywords to squash instead of pick. So what squash is going to do is it's going to say, take these last two commits and meld them into the first commit. Now all we need to do is save and close the file. So again, if you're in Vim, you want to press escape colon WQ and hit enter. So after this file gets saved, Git will pop up another file in your text editor that will allow you to refactor the commit message of your new large squashed commit. So once again, we're going to press I to edit and then edit the squash commands. Basically any line with the hash symbol is going to be ignored. And so I don't really care about these last two commit messages. So I'm just going to comment them out. So now as you can see, my three commits are going to combine one large commit with the commit message accessibility fix for front page bug. And again, I'm just going to save this file by pressing escape colon WQ and then hitting enter. So as you can see by the message printed out to the terminal, Git took all those commits, bunched them together, and then saved and rewrote the history. And that's really it. So if we want to take a look at our commit history now, we can just run git log. And as you can see, all the three commits that were previously separate are now combined into one large commit. So at this point, I can either merge my bug fix back into mainline using merge or rebase, um, but that's really all there is to it. So I tried to keep this video short, but I left a link in the description of a blog post I wrote that has all the actual commands written out. So if you need a reference, um, you can go click through and look at that. But as always, if you have a question, leave it in the comments. I've been doing a pretty decent job of responding to your comments, even though I haven't been posting videos. So. Hope you enjoyed this video live from my kitchen, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.